I'm Jason. Hi, I'm Zach. And we are from CloudShark. And we wanted to take a minute to show you the ability to do SSL analysis in CloudShark. So in addition to viewing your encrypted data, you can actually also manage access to the keys that let you view that data without ever actually letting people look at them. And we think that's a really powerful feature, key management. So Zach is going to give you a little demonstration of what that looks like and how you can use it in your CloudShark system. Thanks, Jason. So I'd like to have a capture of my cloudshark.org website. So I'm going to take a capture of cloudshark.org here. Um, we're just going to pick a few different things like Firefox. And what's great about web page test is they've actually partnered with us to give us the ability um, to view these capture files in line, but they'll also let you download them. So I'm going to start this test. All right, got a file, um, and let's just download it right here. It's this guy down here. So let's move over to my CloudShark tab, and I can drag and drop this file right into CloudShark. It uploads, we open it up, and here we are, CloudShark. We're doing our analysis. Everything looks great except for one problem. All of this stuff is SSL. We used HTTPS for CloudShark, and if I want to see what's in there for HTTP requests, well, there's only a few, and those don't look like HTTP requests to me. What they, we really ended up with a lot of is SSL traffic. And when we start looking at SSL, lots and lots and lots of SSL data in there. Even if we went into our analysis tools, HTTP requests, there's only three. They're not ex at all what we're looking for. So with CloudShark 1.7, we now have the ability to upload RSA keys that have protected this traffic. I can create a new key, give it a name, and I can go ahead and paste this key text right in through my web browser. What's great too about adding keys into CloudShark is that we can make them accessible to only one user or groups of users. For now, I'm going to make this accessible to the admins so we can keep that. And there's the, the key we've created. Back in the capture file that we're looking at, we have all of our SSL data that we can't read. New in 1.7, we have the ability to go in and decrypt SSL traffic. Here we can add a decryption rule, put in the IP address of cloudchart.org. Port 443 is where HTTPS runs. And we're going to decode anything on that port as actually as the HTTP protocol. On my key list, I can pick my cloudchart.org key that's available to me, and I hit apply. Now when we look at the traffic that's been filtered with SSL, we see our HTTP requests in line. Here's one for an image. Here's one for some JavaScript. And down here in the decode, we can see that, yes, there's still SSL. So this isn't unencrypted traffic. It's been decrypted by CloudShark. And when we go in and do the follow SSL stream, we can actually see the HTTP headers that are included for each request. Bouncing back up to the analysis tools, now when we look at the HTTP requests pane, we see several for cloudchart.org. Uh, we can actually expand this analysis and dive into the cloudchart.org, and here's all the different requests that we've made. If we want to jump to an exact stream where one of these things came from, we can click on that file here. See which stream it came in, see which frame it came from, frame 79, decode it, and here it is, a decrypted frame with the exact HTTP request that we were looking for. Problem solved. Thanks, Zach. No so, problem. once again, we are always on the road to making CloudShark the tool of choice for doing uh, your packet capture analysis and being able to share, analyze, and view captures anywhere, at any time, on any device. So, go ahead and check out the SSL key management feature. Happy packet surfing.